question is for you. I, you are a veteran. You're like a TV legend. And I'm old. I've been okay. watching you <laughs> since hanging with Mr. Cooper. Okay. Um, this seems effortless for you. Can you talk about what it is about this show and this cast that stands out for you specifically as an artist? Excellent question, bro. I mean, you know, you get the material first. And Hi, my name is Gil Robertson, president of the African American Film Critics Association. Okay. Today, we are thrilled to kick off our new year talking to the amazing cast and creators for the Disney Channel show, Saturdays. We're going to kick things off by introducing you to Africa facilitator Katia Woods in Philadelphia, Anthony White in New York, Carolyn Hines in Toronto, Dana Abercrombie in New York, KB in Houston, Texas, Nancy Green in Baltimore, Maryland, and Mercedes Springer in Atlanta, Georgia. Mm -hmm. I'm going to let you guys do what you do so well, and I'll see you on the other side. This is Chicago. Home to my girls, Ari. Yes, I'm in. And Simone. Right. It's also where you find my brother, London, and his ride or die, Derek. We're going to slide box easy one of our mixtapes so we can blow up. Mom and dad run a bakery together. And this is Paris. That's me. We'll be famous. And around here, the whole idea is to get through your week to get to Saturdays. Everybody on the way is Saturday. Not just today. We make a very good theme. Not just a vibe. I'm family But the place where everyone brings it together. Cool. It's Saturday. Saturdays at Saturdays. And me and my crew stay ready. Saturdays. Anthony with the movie blog. <laughs> Don't know where to start, but I, I remember when I was young, I was attracted to shows where I felt represented in the cast. <laughs> now, um, the family dynamics in this cast, you guys are spot on. I was just curious, did you anybody draw from any of your own personal relationships to build that that dynamic? Or is this just how you guys are naturally with each other? <laughs> well, I mean, I will uh, let me just say this, and I'll let them take over. I think that was the essence of what we wanted to do. You know, I, you know, I, I have teenagers. You know, I grew up in San Diego, and you know, I got my 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 hood stories and so on and so forth. And so I felt like you know we have this whole energy as a as as blacks and stuff like that in family that is a little different. You know what I mean? And I, we really wanted to showcase that in the writing. And so when we casted it, they, you know, obviously, you know, they had the same intention. And so they gelled so well, it just, it just automatically worked. But yes, it was definitely one of those intentionally written to sound like us. We don't sound like everybody else. We don't live like everybody else. And so we wanted it to feel and sound authentic to, to, to our culture. But at the same time, it's universal and in, in, in storytelling and tone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's funny. I mean, this is, me as a parent now yeah but that's not how my parents were you, you know this, <laughs> this, that's not the household we grew up in you know what i mean it was it was like okay I was like, Mom, can we talk about this no okay uh <laughs> but this is is definitely art imitates life and how i am with my wife and with my kids and it's kind of like you know and they're it's different for me because they're like six and three those are my kids you know and and my wife i've known her for 20 years so it's definitely we have our little thing and I go okay all right let's say sidebar let's talk let's work it out now where everything's good you know what I mean and I love that about this show how we work through uh differences if you have a problem or an issue we're going to talk about it we let our kids kind of make their own mistakes but you know, they come on home at the end of the day and then you know lesson learned yeah I mean I I think I my real life daughter's 13 and I feel like this is an extension of my life with you know, playing Danielle's Paris's mother, which is, I mean, this talent right here, she's just, I mean, what she brings to just that, the representation that she brings to that, that age, that demographic is going to speak volumes. I mean, you said mm -hmm. something else about, you know, when you see representation of you and you feel better, you feel empowered when you see what you know. Yeah. And I feel like this show is that in the way it's written. Norm does a beautiful job at writing how we speak and writing how we sort of navigate through each of our, you know, these trials and tribulations, which are funny, but there's also, it's always based in something real, which I think is what's so uh, genuine about the show. 
Uh, for me, of course, I am a young teenager. And with Paris, I see a lot of the things that she goes through with her family. And I kind of relate it to my own, um, especially with my mom. I have a really close relationship with my mom. So being able to portray that with the my both my parents, <laughs> it, I love it because I'm able to Paris is able to talk to them freely, come to them with advice. And it kind of reminds me of my relationship with my mom. And also the off-screen chemistry we all have really helps because I feel like this is like my second family. <laughs> we definitely have that family dynamic off-screen. So when we're on screen and the camera's rolling, it feels really natural. And the scenarios and the stuff that we say is very real and it's very relatable. And so... That's kind of how I make it very real and real. <laughs> real. Well, I appreciate you all so much. Uh, if you see the movie blog in your IG comments, that's me. Thank you, guys. <laughs> the question is for you. I, you are a veteran. You're like a TV legend. And I've been watching you since Hanging with Mr. Cooper. Okay. Um, this seems effortless for you. Can you talk about what it is about this show and this cast that stands out for you specifically as an artist? Excellent question, bro. I mean, you know, you get the material first and you go, oh, I can I can do this. This is not right. Right. In my wheelhouse. You know, he's a black dad. OK, perfect. Got that. Check that off the list. Lead the time and he likes to have fun with the kids. All right. Fine. He's kind of like a, a man child. OK, easy. That's easy. I got all that. Then check those off. Um, How is the writing as a whole? I read the whole script. I said, oh, wow, this is great. I hope the cast is good. Oh. <laughs> phenomenal check them off the list so we have a star leading us we've got stars around her the um the other kids on the show are phenomenal even the guest cast is good i'm like yeah y'all can't y'all can't mess up nothing on it. You know I mean? and, um the production itself was humongous like uh golden has said um a lot this morning we're doing a lot of these interviews it's like every episode was like a movie you know mm -hmm. and with from the choreography stunt team uh new wardrobe fitting uh full wardrobe fit it was a lot of wardrobe fitting a lot of clothes <laughs> yeah. a lot of clothes <laughs> um different uh the on location you know we had a, an episode where i turn a leaf blower on a guy and they blow him away did they do that in post no they hooked him up to a harness and yanked him 20 feet in the air said, oh, this is the most amazing production i've ever been a part of uh sorry to uh, the best cast up in a i'm sorry i'm sorry like, <laughs> one season out one season out I'm, when I say that, I mean, everyone is polished. There's not like one weak link. Like seriously, everybody yeah, across yeah. the board is, is they all know their lines, which makes like, hey, can somebody mess up one time, please? Like it's, <laughs> it, it was, it was a joy to be a part of this. Um, and I just look forward to many, many, many years to come. Girl, I, uh, hey, it's good hey, to see you. Hey, nice to see you. It's again. been a minute. Yeah. Omar. Uh, on behalf of the world's largest group of black film and TV critics, thank you for watching this edition about career on tables. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye, Bye guys. Thank you.